hi guys welcome to let's talk tv if you're new here please do subscribe and turn on post notifications as we talk all things entertainment and sports and please share the videos to keep your friends informed about what is going on in the world of entertainment so we're going to let's get into the video we're going to be starting with happy news so david Doe and his wife Chioma have welcomed a set of twins now we got it from this twitter user who said but um at overview he said confirm davido and chioma double blessings i think somebody first put out the tweet and then he just confirmed it another post that confirmed that they welcome twins was the post chioma put out saying with davido and she wrote daddy of the year so we had that they welcomed the set of twins a girl and a boy now let's just talk about some people's reactions to it that quite shocked the internet. First, it was Dr. Olukemi Olunio. She's a Nigerian journalist and she's mostly on the controversial sides of things in different cases. So this is what she had to say. She said, Hash breaking exclusively only on Kemi Talks after a year of anxiety and depression after losing her only child and unable to conceive why dealing with mental health issues, stray side chicks and the video drama, Choma Adedeke went through a successful fertility treatment and delivered twins. Reportedly at Grady Hospital, a prominent Atlanta, Georgia teaching hospital last night, the Adedeke welcomed the boy and a girl, Obio Jr. to and Choma Jr. well weighed in at approximately 5 pounds each very healthy choma has been on bed rest for the past 90 days the babies were born by caesarean session at 38 weeks the video wasn't planning to announce yet i've made it official kemi oluloyo now this is the messages it sounded somehow it it sounded like you know when somebody is telling you congratulations but it sounded like a very very shady message and nigerians just nigerians to come out and the question that they asked her what kind of message was that like what kind of message was she putting out about them i think she could have just come and said congratulations there was no need to say dealing with mental health issues there was no need to say straight kids i don't know whether she was trying to trend or something sometimes you look at some people and you think they are too old for some sort of pettiness but they are still going to be petty and it's actually surprising and then the one that shocked and rocked the entire internet was Anita. So you guys know Anita now, that David Doe's side chick that said she was pregnant for him and was bringing the internet down and talking about like how she was pregnant for David Doe. These that um talking about she even at the point she even dragged Shoma into the entire matter. So this is what she had to say. She said Congratulations to David and Shoma. Children are blessings. Best of luck as parents sincerely. Then as the caption, she said, Hope the fans of them can move on because surely I am living out one of my most answered prayers in life. I like to thank everyone. I like to think everyone is at peace, happy and celebrating life to the born, unborn and diseased. God is good um it's actually surprising getting this message from her honestly nobody expected her to come and say congratulations and it seems like david those fans you guys it seems like you guys have been dragging the hell out of her because she was saying she hopes the fans move on did they not tell her about nigerians and how they can stay stuck to a particular topic for a very long time so guys let's move on i do not know whether to categorize this as a happy or sad news but i know it is one where justice was served so you all remember that lawyer that was shot by a police officer the one that was pregnant so it came out yesterday that the court has sentenced the police officer to death for killing lawyer bolan Rahim. So this is what, so Justice Iberonke Harrison of a Lagos State High Court has sentenced police officer ASP Drambi Vandi to death by hanging for killing lawyer by Mr. Bolanle Rahim. Vandi had shot Rahim dead in the presence of her husband while returning from church on Christmas Day 
December 25, 2022, at a police checkpoint in Lagos. Delivering judgment on Monday, October 9, the court found the suspended police officer guilty of the Christmas Day killing of the lawyer and sentenced him to death by hanging. Mr. Vandy was arraigned on January 16, 2023, on a count charge of murder, but he pleaded not guilty. The court granted an accelerated hearing on the case. The Lagos state government alleged that the defendant, an assistant superintendent of police who has been suspended from the force, shot Mrs. Rahim in the chest on December 25, 2022 at Aja Roundabout on Lekki Expressway, Lagos State. The state government told the court that the crime contravenes Section 223 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State 2015. The persecution team, led by a former attorney general and commissioner of justice, Moyosore Onibanji, Josan called a total of 11 witnesses, including eight police officers. The persecution closed its case on February 25th. On 20, February 28th, the defendant, through his counsel Ben Benro, Benro Badamosi, filed an application praying the court to quash the charge against him. On up, April 3, the court, however, dismissed the no-case submission. Justice Harrison held that the persecution established sufficient oral and documentary evidence linking the defendants to the alleged crime, which required an explanation from him. So when this news came out, people had different reactions to it. Obviously, everybody was happy that justice was found and maybe the woman's family might get closure from it. But the questions people asked were, was, was it... Did this court case not take a lot of time because the person that was shot was a legal administrator? Was that why the judgment was delivered so fast? So this is what somebody, Mars chief priest, had to say. He said, I'm glad justice was served, but I believe the victim was a lawyer. That's why the judges were very ruthless in taking the decision. If it was someone else, would the results have been the same? So guys, what do you think about this? Please tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Do you think that the reason why justice was delivered so quickly was because the woman was a lawyer? So guys, it's confirmed that, moving on, it's been confirmed that happy boys, they've been arrested in Cyprus. So a Twitter user put this out. He said, breaking, happy boys, the well-known internet sensation and former security guards have been detained in a prison in Cyprus. They were arraigned for an unknown offense and remanded in an underground prison by the Cyprus authorities. Um, it's not kind of surprising with the way the boys were going, the way they, un they did not appreciate the man that took them there, the pastor, and the way they were dragging him. I knew like jazz was coming soon like whatever i was going to meet them very very soon because i remember they were doing they were always putting up videos that seemed like they were high on drugs you know those videos that they would do like one moment they are doing something to spite the pastor another second they are doing something and they are saying oh we are so sorry that we did this i'm like why is there the back and forth the fact that they even sent them there they sent them there let me just give you guys the entire story for people that don't know the tea right so these happy boys were people that came out sometime this year i think early this year or late last year and they put out a video of them dancing and because of that they were sacked from work now this pastor a pastor took them up and sent them to cyprus to further their education and give them some money or not or um, some money and some other things so um during the period they and the pastor they fell out and what they started doing was they will come out i think the pastor said they should come back to nigeria that they were not serious with their education or something so they will come out and apologize to the pastor and then the next minute is they are putting out no sorry they will come out and say bad things about the pastor then the next minute they are putting out videos to tell the pastor that they are sorry for everything that they said it was not just making sense it seemed like they were just doing it so that they could either catch crews or just um, make themselves more known on social media you know so it was just somehow so sooner or later it was very obvious that this or they were going to deported or something like that 
so guys we've come to the end of this video please like if you like the video and please subscribe if you would want to see more content like this from our channel liking and sharing and subscribing helps improve the engagement and ensures that other people see these videos so guys see you on our next video good day